Hey everybody, my name is Adam Weiser. I'm with uh, Flute Corporation. Today I'm here with Han Tran. She is our applications engineer for Power Quality. And um, today we wanted to talk about Fluke's newest entry into the Power Quality world. This is our latest um, offering. It's the 1748 Power Quality Logger. And Han, I, I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the hardware because it looks a little bit different than some of the other uh, power quality analyzers that we have today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell you about uh, the hardware. So the 1748 is IP65 rated once it has the voltage adapters on there. The other awesome thing about it, it has a lot of different ways you can connect up to it. You can use wireless, you can use, if you open up this gasket, you can use the ethernet port to get data off. You can also use micro USB or the USB 3.0 drive. And then the other thing I noticed, it doesn't have a user interface because I'm used to using uh, meters and power quality loggers that have a user interface on the front. So how do you actually control this, this unit? Yeah, that's a good point. So usually um, you would set up through either Flu Connect, which will um, be on, you can download it on your mobile device or your uh, tablet. You can also control it from your computer. Like we were saying before, it's got a wireless connection. So um, once you have set up all your, your instrumentation um, that's in a different window, you can then download the data and analyze the data. So here I've just got an example of power quality health monitor here, which is a nice quick dashboard to say, all right, do I have a power quality issue or do I not have a power quality issue? Red means bad, green means good. Hmm. Interesting. So where where would you possibly use something like this? Like, in, is it is it especially, you mentioned IP65, is that is that rated for certain environments or certain applications? Yeah, that's in? a good point. So the IP65 rating basically means you can mount the 1748 physically outdoors and it can take some amount of weather, so some rain. Uh, the other thing about, so application-wise you're asking, we can use it out for the utility poles, right? We can also use it at uh, the substations, um, utility substations, local distributions, that kind of thing. The, um, its its purpose is really a semi-permanent, semi-fixed semi uh, solution, which is why we don't have a user interface on it. You, mounted up somewhere and it just stays there. So you could also, in this building, mount it in the main service entrance and then you'd have different models that have user interfaces on it walking around the building checking out the machinery. Very cool. So some of the, um, I noticed on the screen, some of the studies that you can do. You can do, it looks like you can do uh, energy studies, you can yeah. do power quality studies. Yeah, so quick tour of the software. Um, we're right now currently in the PQ study tab. And there you can check out the power quality health dashboard that we were talking about before. You can see the list of events that happened. Here we had some swells, dips, some power interruptions. You can take a look at the harmonic levels. In the energy study tab, you can take a look at the calendar view. And this is essentially week, uh, week, your week. So you've got Monday through Sunday here. And it's a nice snapshot to tell you what the rhythm of your plant is doing, what the rhythm of your power distribution is doing. So say for example here, on a Saturday, I know that this facility is supposed to be shut down and we're not producing any product. Why is the power being used? Why is that at a nice high level? Maybe the AC is running and nobody's there. We should be you know, minimizing the AC usage there or heating usage there. Fantastic. Uh, so there you have it. That is the Fluke 1748 Power Quality Logger. Thanks, Han. I appreciate your time today. Thank you, Adam.